Hello guys, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This is a series of tutorials on Fortran pro this series is a series of tutorials on Fortran programming. Now in the last tutorial we saw we were working with uh, the we just started a program to find the quadrant of a uh, find the we started a program wherein we find the length of a length of a line connecting a point and the origin uh, and uh, origin and as mentioned in the has mentioned in the comments line here we are just a con while that while we do that we will we, we are brushing a few concepts on the settings in para settings you have to make in genie and the parameter option okay now uh, so there's is one one thing i have to mention suppose if i were to just set this va set the uh, define a value pi here declare here and i were to de define a value pi here will this accept I compile this it will not because when you, whenever you set uh, a parameter whenever you set a parameter uh, de declare a parameter the parameter has to be defined on the same line meaning suppose if I were to make a parameter another parameter here the parameter has to be assigned a value immediately or else it will just throw it or else it will just throw an error so this is some kind of a precautionary measure in Fortran which is good okay now this is this won't work this is not needed so if I just compile this no problem now what it shows that it shows a warning that we have two variables that are unused yeah, because we're still in the basic things of our program, so we'll come to that. And uh, as mentioned earlier, in the previous tutorial, we we found the we get, find the value of pi using this function. This function a tan, and similarly there are other functions like a sine and a cos. These are actually called as intrinsic functions. Now, if you guys want to find the sine of an angle or cosine of an angle and all, okay, we use a calculator to find the values, right? Just like that, okay. Uh, you don't have to necessarily write your own set of codes to ca find the sine function, cosine function, the cosine of a value, sine of a value, the tan of a value, and all, and the inverse trigonometry functions and stuff and all in Fortran. Because uh, in Fortran, you have these functions by default available in its uh, in its libraries. These functions, which return certain values and are by default available in Fortran, they are called as uh, intrinsic functions. And now the, these functions, the a, a tan, si, a sine, a cos, these are just, not, these are nothing but some of the intrinsic functions that are available. Okay, the, uh, these are not the only intrinsic functions that are available in Fortran, you have other functions like modulus, mod, mod function, floor function, seal function, uh, hyperbolic trigonometric functions, inverse hyperbolic trigonometric functions, and uh, square root function, power function, and all, and several more. Okay, you guys, if you guys want an entire list of it, you can just always check and go Google it out and get a big list of it. And uh, if you guys want to, inv uh, and there are other functions that are available in Fortran, like what's the maximum of a value, minimum of a value, and all, we'll use them accordingly. Now, getting back, okay, now. I just need uh, getting back. I need another value L to find the length of this, and a value A to find the angle of this, angle of this line. Okay. Now continuing back, the length of the. Uh, let me read the value. Let me print a statement and tell the user that uh, enter the values of sides of coordinates. Enter the values of the coordinates, uh, namely x and y, with a colon and a print. And in the read statement, read statement, and I give the value. I pa I ask for the values of x and y. Fine. Okay. Now that being said, L the length between the points between this the this point and the and the origin is simple distance formula. Okay. Uh, using Pythagoras theorem and simple distance formula is given by uh, x power 2 plus y power 2 2 okay raised to 0 0.5 okay this statement is perfectly valid otherwise there is another statement uh, which also works where what you have to do is that type the same okay there is this function called a square root wherein 
we can pass x power 2 plus y power 2 as the argument. Now, don't worry about how this works because by operator precedence, the exponent occurs first before the addition operation. So you don't need, you don't specifically need any parenthesis or parenthesis to work, make this work. Okay. Now, before we go to the angle, let's just let's print the value of L so that we know we, we, we to know whether we are going fine or not. Okay. Let's print the value of L. Okay. Now to compile this, press F8. Now it's just showing a warning that uh, A has not been declared but not used. Neither, doesn't matter. Now, the, now we build it using the key F9 and then if you execute it, type F5. Okay. It shows a terminal or it just opens up a terminal. Let me give the values, you know, 5 and 4. The length is 6.4. Now, I don't believe that. Uh, just ignore there's a dog run shouting at the outside of my building okay if I were to run this again let me give a normal triangle like uh, 3 and 4 it's 5 just like the Pythagoras theorem 3 square plus uh, square root of 3 square plus 4 square equals 5 square it's proving right perfect now well the, now it's fine now to find the angle what we can do is that a angle a equals a tan of y slash x y slash y slash x now will this work let's see uh, uh, print uh, uh, angle uh, equals a okay now let's compile this now the one now the compiler warning goes because now we start we have used a so the warning goes now build it with your f9 and then f5 to run this 3 and 4 the angle is in 0.927 is it degrees actually it's radians okay now to make this into radians what we do is that is that multiply this hint, uh, multiply this entire thing by 180 and divide this by pi by operator precedence what happens what happens is that this value will be div multiplied by 180 because you remember the pemdas rule multiplication dominates before division so and parenthesis dominates before multiplication so a tan y by x gets solved and you get the degree angle in degree angle in radians and that angle gets multiplied in to 180 and, and then it gets divided by pi to convert that into degrees okay now, if you have to compile this, build this and run this, 3, 4, perfect. Now the angle is actually 53 degrees, 13 seconds, 53.13 degrees and so on, perfect. Okay, now with this being said, we found the, we found the length of the point and the angle. Now all you have to do is that you have to find the, the coordinate of the point, the coordinate of the point okay now we'll do uh, this tutorial is getting a little longer okay in the next tutorial we'll find the uh, we'll find the length of the point and for that we need we need a few conditions called sorry we will find the coordinate coordinate of the point and for that we'll use something called as the if statement and uh, we'll use the if statement and some relational logical operators to do that okay uh, so the next tutorial will finish it will finish this program off with those features now thank you guys for watching see you guys in the next tutorial hope you guys learned something very simple and interesting in this program okay so see you guys